Hello again, YouTube. Happy 2021. Uh, today, I'm going to share with you guys my first original pickup, OG pickup, out of Nike slash Air Jordan. And here, very excited, we have the flight box. Size nine and a half. White and black, made in Taiwan. So I'll carefully try to remove them from the package. First we'll get a peek right inside the box. There they are. White and black cement. Air Jordan 4 from 1989. Here's the first shoe. Dead stock. Shout out to OG Bar for this pair. I saw he had them listed and um, I was keeping an eye on them. Definitely wanted to add these to the collection. Now I'm just missing the Military Four. If anybody knows any leads to those, dead stock pair, that's not going to kill me on the price. I would definitely appreciate it. And let's grab the other one. So here we see the bubble tag. Once again, awesome. Big bubbles, big bubbles on the shoes. These are holding holding up pretty nicely. The midsoles have cracks in them, but pretty solid throughout. Definitely be storing these in the box. You can see the netting, how the netting is separate from the, the mesh underlining there. You can kind of See how it's not stuck together. Kind of an OG trait. Just beautiful. You can oh maybe you can get the tongue tag right here. You got seven nine eighty nine, size nine. So the box I believe was a nine and a half. They're really tight, so I'm glad they did find a. Uh, maybe it was like a mix up at the store. Maybe it was a replacement. Who knows? But it's an original. And notice it says. It says white and black. It doesn't say white and cement. I've seen other pairs. It says white and black. It doesn't say white and cement. So Technically, a white and black in Jordan 4. Here's the flight box again. From Foot Locker. In these original boxes, it's always on both sides. Made in Taiwan. We'll take a look. Once again here, okay, well, let's look at the outsole this time. Just carefully hold them. Let's just tilt it, that'll be easier. We'll lay them down. So you see dead stock, all the stars. They're not as pronounced like the retros are. They're a little smoother on the OG. That heel tab. A lot of cement here you see on the uh, 99 Retro. It's, it's less speckled on the OG. I think that's why I like the 2016 also, the heel tab. It's a little, a little more speckled. So really, really nice detail along the straps too. These are really, really nice. Kind of kind of aged, not as bright as white. Um, the Durabuck. Also, you can see, I'll bring them this way. You can see the widow's peak you come over the top right here. Materials cut with widow's peak. That's another OG trait. I know a lot of people complain about quality control on the retros, um, but when you come back to the heel tab, this is an original release. As you can see, it's never been like every shoe is perfect. This is a little lower, and this is a little thicker cut on the heel tab. So don't beat up Jumpman brand, you know, JB too much, because, you know, no such thing as a perfect pair. Obviously, these are very special and uh, the standard, you could say. I mean, look at that toe box. That's, that's what it's all about, the sleekness. But, yeah, there's no such thing as a, a perfect shoe. But these, to me, are perfect. 
we'll keep this one on this side. So you can see the inner toe box on the right shoe. Let's face them forward one more time. It's funny, my size 11 uh, Fire Reds and my Black Cements too, the uh, heel tab comes a little lower. These are actually, you can see the tabs. I'm not sure if it's just with the size difference because my other size are 11. And as you see here, this is size 9.5, or size 9 actually on this pair. The box is 9.5. Um, you can see these come up a little higher. So maybe the tabs are kind of all molded the same way, but the smaller size didn't come up as high. They came up higher, actually. And one last thing. We'll see if we can get into, maybe over this way. We'll step, see if we can see that Nike Air inside. Maybe underneath the light, there we go. There we go, Nike branding, got the registered logos. Beautiful. So that'll be it for today, guys. Here is the dead stock original release. White and black. Or as we say these days, white and cement Jordan 4 in 1989.